Okay, so the first thing I do once I've logged in the first time, I've set up my passwords, I've set up my security questions, 2FA authentication. So I'm now ready to roll, okay? But before I get into the actual implementation, I first want to go and confirm that what I've ordered from NetSuite, or JCurve in this case, essentially the same product, just for the smaller market, um, is exactly what I've actually got provisioned in my account. Okay, I want to be, I want to essentially do a reconciliation. So what you can see here is the invoice I have from JCurve. As you can see, it's $2,240 for the year which I think makes it really, really affordable, right? That's less than $200 a month. And as you can see, you get a very wide range of functionality, right? So in no way comparable to Xero or QuickBooks or anybody, this is an ERP that you're getting for a really, really good amount. All right, so there's my invoice. I'm now gonna swap over to NetSuite and uh, that's my billing information. I'll just show you how I get there. I go set up. I hover on set up. I don't click on it, right? And I'm just hovering. I'm not clicking in anything. And I'm going to scroll down, scroll down, scroll down, scroll down. Almost right at the end where I see view billing information, right? So when I click on view billing information, this is the screen that I see. And I'm just going to zoom out just a little bit so you can see a little bit more, right? And you will see that there are one, two, three, four, five tabs, right, on this one screen. These first three are the more important ones. I'm going to spend less time on that one. That's kind of just shows you what's happening, right? You can also see here right at the top, it tells you the product you have. NetSuite JCurve Premium Edition Australia. Now, JCurve can only be sold in Australia and New Zealand. All right, so if you're in America or Europe or anywhere else, you cannot use this product, unfortunately. All right, so my anniversary date is 5 July. That's when I actually, when the account was provisioned. So in a year from this date, I will have to go back to JCurve or they will come to me and we'll agree uh, another order for the next year right so I've got service tier as standard I'll quickly click on there to view the other service tiers and hopefully it loads quickly there we are right so here you can see the different service tiers that NetSuite have standard goes up to a hundred users Right, and there's file storage and monthly transaction lines, right? So premium thousand users, thousand gigabyte storage, two million transaction lines. So this the, this is already for a huge company, right? I to be honest, my clients are normally more in this kind of range, right? And J curve is definitely gonna be in that range. I can't imagine people on J curve having two million transaction lines. Right, enterprise 10 million, ultimate 50 million. Okay, so a whole bunch of extra information there. I'm not going to deal with that now. I just wanted to quickly show what the service tiers are. All right, um, I just want to stop there for a second. Um, okay, so here's my billing information. And I now want to quickly jump over to my master configuration workbook. All right, so I have all of these essentially mirrored. So you'll see there's billable components. If I go back to NetSuite, billable components. All right, so what I do is I essentially copy and paste this into my master configuration workbook so that in the future, if anything is changed in here, I have a hard copy, right? This is also really handy to make notes so that if we go through all of this this year and in six or 12 months from now, we review the entire system that we can see all the notes we made, right? If you don't use this kind of workbook, you cannot make notes. As you can see, there's no way to make notes here. Also in NetSuite, transaction entities, and I'll, well, I guess 
I don't really have any entities, but I'll quickly just show accounts, right? That's not set up yet, so scrap that for the moment. Right, so transaction records have a tab called the system information tab. On that in system information tab, you can see any changes that's been made, what time it was made, what date it was made, by who it was made. Right, so you can see all the detail. For non-transactions and non-entities um, like customers and vendors, this kind of sheet, you do not have a system information sheet. So you cannot see who changed what. And that is another of the reasons why I use this configuration worker. In this case, because I'm doing this implementation for myself, I'm not now going to fill this in. I'm just going to go straight and have a quick look in here and confirm that it is what I ordered right so let's see employee center yep I know there's five of them right there they are five employee centers right um, and I've got my full users that's really really important up to 20 users now i have arranged with jcurve to have two licenses so it doesn't actually appear here but as you can see it does say there i've got two licenses also there's two columns here there's a provision column which sa that says what can we use and there's a, then there's a column that says current used to tell us what we have actually used right so as you can see i've set up two to users and I've used 0 0.01598 right um, also what I want to check is I should get 120,000 campaign emails right there they are cam e campaign email not used any of them very keen to use it historically I found that very very few clients actually use those um, and very few clients actually even know about these. So I think that's very handy and can be very useful indeed. Right? I, I'm on the 200,000 service tier, so I know that's correct. Right? I don't have to check for subsidiaries, even though I can. There's just one subsidiary. Right? Um, what else is important that I want to check? All of that stuff is good, 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 good. Yeah, so I'm happy there. This is, you would probably want to spend more time on this if you've never done this before, but I've done it plenty, so, oh, and there's the ring. Last minute, of course. So I'm comfortable, based on the checks that I've done, that I have provisioned what I ordered. Um, in a case, if this is your first time when, when, uh, that you are checking your invoice against your system information, your billing information, I suggest you spend quite a bit more time on this and really familiar yourself, familiarize yourself with pretty much every one of these lines. Right? Having said that, if you don't want to do that or you don't have the time of the incl inclination, you can always sign up for one of my courses where I discuss all of this in detail. Okay, we have now dealt with this billable components tab. I've gone through that and I'm comfortable that everything I ordered is on here and I can now move to the next tab. So let's look at add on module. Right, so as you can see, there is a large number of add-on modules here. Notable ones, multi-book, where you could have multiple books, right? Um, and I have advanced inventory, which is a module that comes with Jcurve Premium, so I'm happy with that. Nothing else, that's good. I don't need anything else at this point. 
then I'm going to my next tab, add-on bundles. Right, as you can see there again, there's a whole bunch of add-on bundles. There, these two I have, mobile and CSM pack station. Don't think I have ever used CM, uh, CSM pack station. Okay, so I'm moving on to add-on bundles. Um, not much there. I have supply chain management mobile as well as pack station, which I ordered from them. So happy with that. Nothing else. All right, so we're good there. Then provisioning history. It's just literally going to show you play by play what's been used. All right, play by play with dates. All right, so. The only time I would really go and look at this if, is if I'm questioning something, right? So I've never really used this, to be honest. And then you've got your component usage, which shows you every single time you change anything, right? Storage, users, licenses, right? But really, in the end of the day, the important ones to look at is billable components, add-on modules, and add-on bundles.